Hi Aries, how you going? It's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. Hopefully you have clicked into here, you've watched my daily reads and now this is my first set of weekly reads. Um, I do a card from the Animal Spirit Oracle, one from the Moontology Oracle. I do your tarot card readings, which is past, present, future energies and I do clarify each of those cards. Then I finish with the Star Temple Oracle, which is um, I read from the book because that's a really positive message to finish the reading with, and um, I love that pack. Uh, so do take with you what resonates, leave what doesn't behind because that might mean something to somebody else, okay? It's general read, do check your sun, moon, rising if you need, and cross watches are welcome. This is for the week, Monday 19th of October 2020, which is tomorrow. I'm in Queensland, Australia, um, and it's quite a full-on day trying to get these through and uploaded today so that they're ready to go tomorrow. And then hopefully somebody will watch. Um, but yeah, I'm still fumbling around a bit, sorry. Um, as I said, new at this. But hopefully you'll be with me and hopefully you like and subscribe so you can keep coming back. Okay, so we'll get started. So Aries. I'm going to pop out a bit. <laughs> yeah, number 15. This is the cow spirit. The miracles are endless. I'm laughing because look at this cow. How cute is that? Love sunflowers. Okay, miracles are endless. Love that too. Okay, ontology cards. You get the waxing moon. The energy is gaining momentum. See that there? Nice. Forward movement. It's happening. So, Aries, Monday, week of Monday, 19th of October, 2020. Let's see what we have for you, Aries. Got three to go after this, and hopefully this light, which came in the daily readings, so turned my camera around a little bit and blocked it out a little bit, but it's starting to come through. So try and pump these out before it does that again. Okay, Aries, overall you've got judgment. Okay, keep an open mind. Be honest and be fair to, your other, to others and to yourself. I was going to say to your others, but to others and to yourself. In your recent past, you get the five of chalices, six of wands, and ten of pentacles. Okay, so there's a loss that's happened in the past, and um, you're quite focused on that around there's other options still out there for you, you know, everybody has grief and loss at different periods of time to heal you know, but remember that because you've got the six of wands next to you so you're coming out in a sense of victory you've got the ten of cups as well so there's the happiness there stability emotional happiness okay remember your cow spirit the miracles are endless okay no ending to them Okay, so your present energy, you get the moon, queen of swords, and the ace of chalices. Here's this new love here. Okay, don't be fearful of it. I'm a Pisces, I'm the moon. I keep saying, don't be scared of me. It's like, but yeah, don't be fearful of the moon. It shines brightly when it's dark. 
it's at night time. Okay. Got the Queen of Swords, upfront and honest, clear the air. Be open, honest and clear. A bit like judgment. Honesty, openness. Okay, because you've got new love here. It doesn't have to be a relationship. I have to keep saying that all the time. Okay, it could be a pet, it could be a family member, it could be a job. Whatever, whatever you love. You're a new chapter here. Because you've also, in your future energy, you've got the Ace of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Somebody could be coming to apologize. You could be needing to apologize to somebody. I do liken this to the olive branch. Okay? But it's also inspirational new ideas that you want, that you have. Okay? New beginning. You've got the Three of Wands, can see things clearer. Open the doorway. How happy she looks. <laughs> Love that one. <laughs> it's like, wee! <laughs> okay, you've got four pentacles. You're still going to hang on to something. I'll clarify that shortly. I do. That three of wands, she looks like. <laughs> wee! Look what's out there. out there is endless miracles. We keep showing that because it's so cute. Okay, but your energy is gaining momentum. <laughs> she is. She's gaining momentum there. Right, so we'll begin. Let's clarify judgments. What do you have here? Aries. One card at a time. The lovers. Knight of Cups. Death. Wow. Okay. So I think somebody might not have been so honest and open. This is the order they came out in. Okay. Lovers. Let's go find judgment. Somebody might have been a bit closed off. However, I want to come in with new love. New beginning in love. Let a past energy go that doesn't serve you anymore. First card in your past energy is the Five of Cups, focusing on the loss. Let that energy go now. Okay, move forward into a new chapter, new beginning. Because in your present, you've got your new beginning here. Clarify this five of cups, five of chalices, knight of pentacles, chariot, nine of wands. Don't know if you can hear the aeroplane coming over. I have a few flights a day that go go past, and I live on an intersection with traffic lights, so you get quite a bit of traffic noise. And the hoons who always want to be first when the light goes green. of swords comes out <laughs> okay so five of chalices you have knight of pentacles chariot nine of wands healing's coming there is something coming to help you okay don't be afraid to ask for help don't be afraid to go and help someone but this one is slow moving you've got the chariot Getting yourself into alignment to move freely might speed it up a little bit. You've got anticipation. You've gone through all these hurdles and obstacles in the past areas. You're wondering what, what do I do now? Well, don't worry about it because the miracles are endless. Here's the cow. And you've got the chariot matches up to here. The energy is gaining momentum. There you go. Six of Wands. You have Queen of Cups, King of Swords, the Hanged Man. So you do. You're coming into this sense of victory. And I think you're feeling the victory around an emotional energy and around a direct approach energy. Okay, you've got the Queen of Cups, which is loving, nurturing. You've got the King of Swords, which is very much in control, very direct. Okay, you're kind of sitting on the fence with the Hanged Man. 
which one to go, you know, blend the two, blend the two together, make a decision. Let's go to this Ten of Chalices, Magician, Three of Cups, Emperor. Nice energy there, because you've got emotional stability, emotional happiness, you're manifesting this, you're wanting to celebrate this, you're very much in control very authoritative figure here, stable, strong, brave, okay, you might be wanting to celebrate this happiness, the three of cups, manifest correctly, because your miracles are endless, cow spirit, okay, so we'll go to the moon, present energy, three of wands, you have down there eight of pentacles nine of pentacles that flows through don't be fearful to open the door and see the bigger picture open your eyes see the bigger picture okay. things will become a lot more clearer you're working on yourself you're working hard on yourself and you're going to start seeing the rewards for your efforts nice see the queen of swords four of wands Four of Cups, the Tower. So you've got two fours there. I like number synchronicities, so do go and Google your angel number of 44. You might have an additional meaning there for you. Okay, but you're wanting commitment. There's a step up here. Somebody might be proposing. You might be getting married. Definitely a step up in commitment here, bringing you a lot more stability. Because you've got the tower that's going to blow everything out that you don't need. Okay, build the solid new foundation. Focus on everything that's around you, not just one particular part. Okay, there's other things around you that need your attention as well. See the Sacer Cups, this brand new chapter in love. I love this. Really? Five of Wands? Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands, Persevere, but really, Conflict, Pain, Perseverance, maybe when it comes to love, that's what needs to be taken care of, take care of this conflict and competition, take care of the pain. It is at the 10, so that is at the end of the cycle. And you've got the 7 of Wands, persevere. If there is somebody significant out there that you're wanting, persevere. Miracles are endless. <laughs> but again, it doesn't have to be a person or a relationship. Just love in a new chapter. And it's ending this pain. You're at the end of this pain, you're ready for this new beginning. So go to the Ace of Swords, Four of Swords, Hermit, Six of Wands. Yeah. So you're doing a lot of healing. You've got the Four of Swords and the Hermit. Okay, double whammy of self healing, looking after yourself. Definitely nothing wrong with that. You do this need that you do it okay. you have got these inspirational new ideas of where you want to be what you want to do okay and go after that because you're going to come out in victory miracles are endless okay three of wands <laughs> three of wands remember the energy is gaining momentum can't tell me she's not gaining momentum. So I see it, it's like, wee! <laughs> she's coming up like a slide of some sort. She's like flying off. You know the swings? I oh know, when I was a kid, when you're on the swings, and it's like you do your final swing and you jump off, and it's just like, ooh, and you go flying through the air. Well, that's what she's reminding me of. Just a bit of. <laughs> Nostalgia there. So, three of Wands, Ace of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the world. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. 
Here's what's gaining momentum. New love. Success and achievement. What more can I say? The world. So you can see things a lot clearer now. You see the bigger picture and what you're able to achieve. You're able to achieve all this happiness, emotional happiness, financial and success. The world is your bigger picture. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. This happens quite often. Four of Pentacles is clarified with the Four of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, Three of Swords. Whatever you're hanging on to needs to be let go. Okay, you've got a double whammy. Where are we? Double whammy of the Four of Pentacles. Okay, you've got that here, and you've got that here. Okay, you're hanging on to something. You need to let it go. You need to walk away from what it is, because it's just causing you heartache. Okay, it's causing nothing but heartache. Focus instead on this. Okay, brand new beginning in love. Right this way. <laughs> Sorry, camera's opposite. Okay, brand new beginning in love. Success. The world. Because your miracles are endless. That is clarifying the three of wands which is your energy gaining momentum. Love that. Okay, so we'll see what you've got. The universe has to say for you. Hierophants, Queen of Chalices, Two of Wands. Nice. Follow your intuition, follow your gut, follow your heart, follow your mind. Got loving, nurturing energy around you with the Queen of Chalices. You've got goals. You can see all this coming into you. Okay? Meet it halfway. Don't wait for it to get here. Don't let it fall. It's not going to fall in your lap. Waiting for it to get here, you might find something better on along the way and it might divert off course. You go and meet it halfway. So Aries, we have Star Temple Oracle. Well, that one wanted to come out. Number 10, Athusa, Sun Goddess, Lift Off. I open my senses to feel delicious pleasure and passion. Lift Off. Lift off. <laughs> right, I want to read that then. Some goddess. Star words start, change, play. Alcyone's daughter of light, Athusa, brings tidings of a fresh start and exhilarating new beginnings. As the sun goddess, she encourages you to rise like the sun and dance with the stars. Be playful and open to change, and you will feel vibrant once again. Ventures that you begin now are blessed with abundance and success. The planning you do, personally and spiritually, will bring miraculous changes to your life. Enjoy the journey and celebrate the wins along the way with gratitude. I'm sorry, but again, this, this, this. This wraps it up for you, Aries. That's a pretty good read. Okay, so hopefully, click like and subscribe. You're still here. Um, let everyone know about me, and yeah, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.